Yo, it's Saga Manga, and we are back with a ridiculously big manga haul. I was planning to do this earlier, and then you know, sales came up. I had to buy two, get one free from Indigo, found some things on Marketplace, and basically just spiraled to like probably like the best manga haul on YouTube. <laughs> so, obviously. One of the craziest finds we'll start with. We got Lone Wolf and Cub, the complete set in the singles. And uh, these have the nice Dark Horse chess piece logo, which, in my opinion, is just way nicer than the other Dark Horse logo or the new one. But uh, most of you will know this is an old samurai story. So far, I've read three volumes since I got it. I basically paid retail price. I pretty much paid retail price. Just under, I think. But, I mean, this is a much harder to come by series. Who knows, one day maybe Dark Horse will do the deluxe edition. Because Kodansha, you know, just announced a Shida no Joe. Which is a older manga they think the manga community is maturing i think germany has deluxe editions of this in hardcover and i didn't expect that these were this tiny i knew they were smaller but like here's a normal shonen jump volume compared to these dark horse singles which are very tiny but they feel good in the hand, honestly. And uh, yeah, this is a samurai, sorry, lone wolf and cub. He's the lone wolf. His son follows him around. He's a uh, assassin. And each chapter is almost, it's like a episodic almost. So, you know, I've been reading one or two chapters every day or other day. And so far, yeah, it's it's really good. It is samurai, you know me. I like my samurai stories. I like my swords. But I didn't actually ever think I would find this. I kind of saw it on Marketplace. I gave the guy a lower offer. Pretty much what it's going for on like manga swap and stuff. But you know it was locally. I paid cash. We got it. Happy to have this in my uh, collection. But these are very clean. I think they just look better than the omnibuses and i think i'm just gonna go by publisher because i have i believe one more dark horse series it's another out of print series by dark horse and it is shaman warrior and this is actually a manhwa so it reads left to right but i remember reading this when i pretty much started reading manga back in the day i read it online and it was called dongu d-a-n-g-u and i didn't even know that this was ever in print so i found it online i bought it in a manga swap from this guy i usually buy on from there he's got pretty good prices um the art is very reminiscent of blade of the immortal and it's basically about these these shamans that have uh i read this like three four years ago i think so it's these shamans that have like these special powers and it's set in like a desert like this guy is a shaman and it's just very honestly like i remember it having very very good fight scenes and dark art and dark themes to it which again you know me if you're on this channel I love my uh, samurai. I love my sword fighting. It doesn't matter. Put swords in it. I'll read it. <laughs> and then we have one more Dark Horse series from this haul. And that's Tomahawk Angel, which is by Odysseus Theodoratos. <laughs> awesome name. I believe the guy's from Greece. And he, he's been drawing this for uh, years. And Dark Horse of all picked it up decided to publish it i believe it's tapas which is i don't know 
what country, but that is the um they publish online comics and whatnot. So I think it's like a, a joint publication. But it's really cool. It's about this girl, she wakes up, she has this like symbol on her chest and uh I don't remember what they call them, but she has like regenerative powers. And it almost seems like somebody is controlling this world and sending in these these uh demons to her and anyone that is I forgot what the name is called. I read this in January. Anyone who is like a an angel maybe <laughs> they have regenerative powers are stronger and so far I'm loving it. The art's really good. The uh the dark themes definitely a mystery to it. I'm waiting for volume two, which I believe comes out in April. April twentieth or something. So that's next month. And that is the Dark Horse pickups. I'm going to put these back on the shelf and then I'll come back. And I think we'll do Kodansha next. Cause... <laughs> Anisha D Omnibus. It's awesome that we finally got these in print. And it's great that we are going to actually have the entire series in print now. Because Tokyo Pop never finished it. So, very nice release. I actually really like the spine and the second spine should be blue according to the cover art on Amazon or wherever. It's blue with the RX-7 on the front instead of the 86. And we do have color pages in the front. It does have about 10 or 11 color pages, which is nice. But then after those color pages, honestly, the paper quality is not the best i don't know people were asking me i posted on reddit they were asking me about like the paper quality how you compare it i believe it's similar to the other kodansha on the buses like the fire force attack on titan i don't know i don't have any of those so i can't confirm but basically anywhere there's like white you can just see straight through and it doesn't feel like the best paper quality I believe it's much better than you won't be able to see on camera but you can see through i believe it's better quality than like the viz 3 in ones but it's probably the same quality as like the attack on titan on the bus or the fire force which is kind of sad i wish they did a little bit more quality considering these are like 30 bucks canadian you're basically paying 15 bucks per volume because these are two in ones so I wish they did a little bit more. In all honesty, like I would have took in uh, deluxe editions of Initial D. That would have been sick. It's also super wavy. It hasn't adjusted to my room. But if we had deluxe editions like this beautiful Vinland Saga deluxe with nice color pages in the front. Oh my god, dude. This thing is so nice. Even got color pages midway through such high quality paper these are beautiful you have your runes along the top you got your stamp here which the stamp will change once we get to volume three or yeah three and the color is going to change to black and everything even in the back you have you have um viking lore old norse runes you have translations you have everything in here. You you have your red uh, bookmark that's attached. Very, very similar to our Dark Horse Deluxes. These have a flat spine compared to like Berserk, which has a rounded spine. But Kodansha absolutely smashed this out of the park. I was hoping for more on the initial D, but <laughs> I'm so glad I held off on picking up the two-in-ones because... I just kept buying manga, as you can see. I'm out of room, by the way. <laughs> so I just put off buying the Vinland Saga, the original hardcovers, because I already read. I'm caught up to the latest chapter that came out recently. By the way, if you've read that, don't spoil anything in the comments, but goddamn. Two more volumes from Kodansha. And that is our Parasite. We got three and five because i picked up four on the 
Boxing Day sale, which was 40% off. And a lot of this, a lot of everything I got was some of the initial, or the <laughs> Indigo sale was buy two, get one free, which is 33% off. And then my membership's 10%. So it's it came out to 40% off. So I got both these at 40% and I pre-ordered up to seven because that was all I could pre-order. But I've been waiting to um, read these because I have read this online in full color a while back. And yeah, these, these releases are so nice. Which again makes me sad that the initial D release isn't up to my standard. Is what it is. At least we have initial D in print, honestly. Oh, by the way. Have you guys seen the trailer for Parasite the Grey, I believe it's called, on Netflix? It's a Korean live-action adaptation. And honestly, like, I'm actually hyped for this this live-action. It actually looks very good. And I, I watch a lot of, like, Korean shows on Netflix because they're actually really good. So, pretty hyped for that. Those are the only pickups for Kodansha. Now we go on to Viz. Okay. So we're here for the Viz. And I did end up caving and we upgraded to the Full Metal Editions of Full Metal Alchemist, which are the hardcovers. And majority of these were bought on that sale, buy two, get one free, came up to 40% off. There's a couple missing, like, I still don't have four. It is come back into stocks and it's very good. I've officially started reading Full Metal Alchemist. Which means I gotta get rid of this, which is my box set. We have the singles. Obviously, might as well just sell them because they can go to somebody that wants them. Because I have these now. I finished the first omnibus or the hardcover, which are one and a half volumes, which is super weird. But that's how they did it instead of doing three in ones for some reason, which is cool, I guess. So we have our Full Metal Alchemist hardcovers now. Almost complete set. We're just missing volume four. Which is awesome. You know, that's my second favorite anime of all time. So the fact I haven't read the manga yet is crazy. But now, as soon as I got these, I had the urge to start reading. Got some singles here. D. Gary Man 11 finally came back in the stock. New price tag though. <laughs> so we have 11. The only one I'm missing now is 25, which I'm like one volume away. But I assume they're like doing a new print run of all of these. So maybe we'll get the Gray Man 25 soon. Black Clover 34, continuing Black Clover. We got this a while ago. I just read half of this last night, a bit more than half. And damn, dude, this volume's sick. I love Black Clover. And sad. This is sad, man. Dragon Ball Super 20. And Sandland, which I read this, loved it. RIP to Akira Toriyama. Very sad news because, you know, I've known about Dragon Ball my, my whole life. I remember watching it as a kid. That was probably the first anime I ever watched. I didn't even know it was anime. It's very sad. You know, we got Sandland movie coming out. We got the game coming out. You know, uh, Kira Toriyama was probably like the most influential through all of manga. Pretty much made Shonen, Jun Shonen manga what it is. And without Akira Toriyama, we probably wouldn't have a lot of great series that we do have. Very sad that he has passed. On to a brighter note. Golden Kamoi 31. Obviously got this in January when it came out. Read it all in one sitting. Great. Finally wrapped up the series. Amazing story. I love everything about this manga. Good ending. Very funny with the uh, reveal at the end. Obviously won't say anything. Second favorite manga of all time. And then we got all you need is kill. I kind of just threw this in my basket because I was I needed something for the buy two get one <laughs> free sale. So I threw this in to get it for free. 
I did watch the movie, like the live, like the live action movie that's based off of this, or something along those lines. I don't know which one came first, but I did watch that movie, so I know generally about the story. Be I'm interested in reading it, that's why I bought it. And then next up is a series I've seen around quite a bit. Never really wanted to get into it that much but I was watching somebody's manga collection I believe it was Debbie Otaku I don't know how to pronounce his name B-E-B-E -E Otaku I believe it was his um, collection tour video and he mentioned Black Lagoon right after Golden Kamoi and said there were similarities in the series so i paused the video and i went and read like two chapters of volume one and i was feeling it so much that i bought the whole set i mean four and twelve are on the way but they're not going to be here for another week or so and i just you know i wanted to film the video so we will have the full set of black lagoon which i'm interested i'm really hyped to read that if it's anything at all like i don't believe i don't remember what he said exactly something along the lines that it has similar to golden kamoi which is my second favorite manga of all time so obviously i had to pick that one up and then here is mao 1 to 13 i won 3 6 and 10 beforehand but because of that sale buy two get one free i decided to commit because I had those other volumes that I bought on sale and it was I didn't know if I wanted to read now I didn't know if I wanted to buy it you know so I decided to commit up to volume 13 which I'm on volume 4 right now enjoying it it's pretty much Inuyasha <laughs> like pretty much the same story almost a little bit darker sort of but enjoying it so far so if I get to 13, I will make up my mind if I want to continue. I think there's like 15 or 16 out at the moment. Random pickup. Absolutely random out of nowhere. Hunter Hunter. I got these 13 volumes for 60 bucks. Canadian, by the way. If you don't know, I'm Canadian. And I believe this is the Chimera Antark. I just kind of jumped on it. It was a marketplace sale. 60 bucks. I mean, I have too much manga at this point, so I don't know when I will get the beginning volumes. I was about to get volume one to five from some guy for 25 bucks, but like he just stopped responding. If you're on Marketplace, you know what I mean. People are weird. So I got these 13 volumes, 60 bucks. Hopefully I can find maybe like one to 10 or something in the future. I'm not going to be in any rush to collect the beginning parts of this but maybe i will find one to ten one to twelve for like five bucks a volume which would be awesome and since this is here on the desk we got d gray man nosh nosh <laughs> it's the art book i don't want to flip through it too much yet because you know i'm only on like i mean i'm probably safe to flip through this i just don't want to see any like you know, new outfit spoilers. I mean, I'll show you like the first page, which is not any spoilers or anything, which is cool. It's my second art book ever. So we picked up Promise Neverland, one to 20, final volume. Uh, this is something, Mufnid actually bought me volume one in our battle of the manga halls. Read it, enjoyed it. Didn't know if I wanted to continue. I actually had the box set pre-ordered, but I ended up canceling back then because I just had like such a long TBR, which, you know, I just added multiple series to that TBR. It's a never ending problem with the manga collector. So found this marketplace. Guy wanted like 150. Asked him if he'd take 130. He said, yes, 130 is pretty damn good. Now we have the full set, Promise Neverland. This is something everyone says you should read. Obviously, the anime season two. Bad. 
Some people say it like falls off a little bit. Who knows? I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna enjoy it, and maybe sell it at the end. Maybe keep it. Who knows? And then we picked up 20th Century Boys and 21st Century Boys from one guy. Plus this uh, last series, we picked up all of this at about I think. It was around 35% off retail, 40%-ish off retail, which is decent price, but off the old price. Because these were 27 Canadian, but they just went up to like 32 Canadian. The guy literally said he never read them. They are <laughs> brand new. I actually think he never read them. So to get the full set in one swoop at a pretty good price for me and a pretty good price for the guy. I was super down. I jumped on it because I also asked for this other series, which I got another good price for. I think I got these for 15 bucks a volume, something like that. I don't know what that equates to. I think around 35, 40% off. And then I also got Claymore box set. And some of you guys that watch my channel a lot might say, Yo, Saga, did you not say in your video all the manga you sold? You sold your Claymore box set? And yes, I did. This is the first time I've ever sold something and rebought it. But let me tell you, I bought this box set for $195 back in the day. I sold it for $320. Crazy the guy offered me that price. So, I bought this for $150. So, technically, I own all of Claymore for $25. Something was telling me in my soul, I felt it. I needed to get Claymore back. I needed it back in the collection. Why? I don't even know. It just, it just felt, it was the manga collector in me, man. It just said, you need to buy Claymore. Again, guy said he never read these. They are in literally brand new condition. As far as I can tell, like, no fingerprints, no nothing. They don't even feel like they've been opened. I believe they are brand new as well. And that's going to end it for the manga haul, which is my craziest manga haul for sure. So many series, 20th Century Boys, Claymore, Promise Neverland, Full Metal Hardcovers, got Initial D, uh, Vinland Saga Deluxe, we got Black. Lagoon, so many manga, crazy, I'm enjoying manga so much right now, dude, there's so many great series, and now I got a couple more, so, if you enjoy the video, you know, feel free to like, subscribe, comment, whatever, feel free not to, and I will see you in the next video which is going to be uploaded very soon because I don't even have enough space to put these on my shelf. So I'll see you in the next video. Peace.